Hi, and welcome to another Melel video tutorial. My name is Eyal, and in this video, we'll start covering pages, and uh, it will be a two-part video because of the YouTube uh, time limitations. First one will be more basic, and then we'll bid on that and do some more advanced stuff. So let's start. I'll open a document that I made before. Now this document is just a lot of gibberish, multi-page gibberish. So when we're looking at a page, the first thing we notice is that it has a size. How do we set the size? We go to File, Page Setup, and in the Page Setup sheet we have a pop-up called Paper Size, showing us a variety of page sizes. I'll pick, for example, B5, which is the European standard uh, page size. Click OK. And the text is laid out in a smaller page, which is B5. Let's revert to A4. So this is how you set page sizes. Beyond page sizes, all other page-related features are controlled via the page palette. So let's open the page palette. Now the next thing we're going to do is set the margins. And to do that, we click the Margins and Orientation button. We did that, and we have the Margins and Orientation window. And here we have a fields for the margins, top, bottom, left, right. So if I set top margin to 45, the top margin will change. Bottom the bottom margin changes, and so on. So I'll revert to the previous values. Another thing I can do in the margins and orientation window is to set the orientation. Currently it's landscape. I'll click this button and the orientation is landscape. So let's go back to portrait orientation. Close this window. Now the next thing we might want to set for a page is the header. How do we do that? Well, we click the header checkbox and a header is added to the page. Now a header is basically just a piece of text which is just like any other part of the document. You can edit it and do whatever you like in it. So. Once I click the header checkbox and edit the header, I can click inside the header and type whatever I like. Let's say, hello. Now I'll click the approve button here. And the header is set for the other pages as well. Of course, usually you need to, you want to put something like a page number in the header. So how do we do that? We'll select the hello and delete it. And to insert a page number, we of course don't want to actually type the page number because this will just repeat the same number in each page. We want to insert something special, an element that represents the page number and will change automatically. And for this, we have the insert element pop-up. We'll choose page number and the page number is added. I'll click the Approve button, and each page has the page number. Of course, I can do more. I can select this text and change it. Change the font. I can also change the alignment right, center, etc. Another thing I can do is insert another type of element, which is the total number of pages. And for example, in this document, we have 10 pages. Sometimes I would like to say on each page, this is page 1 of 10, this is page 2 of 10, and so on. So how do we do that? Well, we already inserted the page number element. 
So we just type a space and then type off another space, insert element, total number of pages, and prove that. And we have one of 10, two of 10, three of 10, and so on. Another thing we can do with the header is set its size. And for this, we have here a handle which we can drag. When we're dragging the handle, when we reach the place where the text of the header fits exactly, it will snap. So this is a way to be sure that it fits exactly. Another way is to double click the handle and it will snap to the size that fits the text. So this is headers. Now footers are just like headers, but at the bottom of the page. So if I click the footer checkbox, a footer is added, click inside, I can type something, approve that, and I have a header. Of course, I would usually want to put a page number, align it, etc. So this is exactly like headers, but at the bottom of the page. The next thing I can set for a page is the background color. And for this I have a color well. I'll click that. And a color picker appears. Now I won't go into a lot of details about this, but basically you have a way to... You have a variety of methods of choosing your color. Pick one of them and then choose your color, click it, and it will set the color of the page. Very simple. The next element I can control is a background image. I can put a background image on the page. I'll click the image checkbox. I'll pick an image, open. And the image is placed at the background. Now I can put the image at the top or maybe at the center top, at the right top, etc. I can also tile the image. I can also say fit to page and the image will be resized to fit the page. Another very, very useful thing I can do with the image is to set the opacity. And this basically lets me blend the image into the background so it will appear like a watermark at the background and won't interfere with the text. So this is how we set an image. Now, up until now, all the th settings we made were applied to all the pages of the document. If I set the header, the header repeats in each page of the document. A footer, same thing. Image, background color, and so on. But sometimes I would like to have a different thing for different pages. For example, a very common use is to have a different first page. I may not want the page number to appear at the first page. So how do I do that? Well, for that I have the different first page checkbox. I'll click that. And what happened now is that the first page gets a different set of attributes, including a header, a footer, the header text, the header, the footer text, background color, image, and so on. And so the, diff the first page gets a different set than the other pages. So I have two sets of attributes and I can control them via the page palette by, if I click in the first page, I see in the page palette the attributes of the first page and I also see here in the tab 
an icon represented the first page selected and it also says editing first page so I know that now I'm looking at the attributes of the first page and this page has no header no footer so this is good for us now let's go to the second page and click in the second page and the page palette changed and I, now the the icon representing all the other pages all pages is selected and it also says editing all pages so I know that I'm looking at the attributes of the other pages I can also click the icon here for the first page and Melel will jump to the first page and if I click here it will click to some other page so if I go and edit the all pages let's say I'll remove the header here and just keep the footer what we have here is a first page with no header and no footer and second page has a footer with a page number third page has a footer and so on so we have a first page with its own set of attributes and the rest of the pages with an, a different set of attributes so this is different first page Le let's turn off different first page for a bit and have all pages have the same footer now we can go even further as we don't want a first page and other pages we might want to have a different left page and a different right page or in the metal terminology it's the even page and odd page so to see this more clearly I choose a different view mode the spread view mode now this is just a view mode the document was not actually changed it's just the way I'm looking at the document but now it shows me a left page and a right page just like I it would look when I uh, see it in a book and now I can click the different odd and even pages and now I can set different attributes for left pages or even pages and right pages which are odd pages so if I click in the left page in the even page I can set attributes for example let's let's put a footer in this page and insert a page number at the left so this is how I want the left page to look in the right page I already have a footer because I set it for all pages before I'll click inside the footer and align it align it to the right I'll approve that and now I have the page number on left pages on the left and on right pages on the right so this is something which is quite common for books of course I can combine different left and right pages or odd and even pages with different first page if I click the different first page checkbox now I have three types of pages I have first pages and then I have left pages or even pages and I have right pages or odd pages of course this can be a little bit messy so Melel tries to help you by showing you which page you're editing so when I'm in the first page I see it says editing first page this icon is selected and I see the attribute of the first page if I go and click on an even page Melel will go and show me an even page attributes and it will tell me editing even page and the icon will be selected and so on of course I can just click one of those icons and it will, will jump to the first page or to an odd page or to an even page and show me the page and its attributes this concludes the first part of the video in the next video we'll go even further so check it out 
And until then, bye-bye.